Hello everybody, this is John Evans and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. How about that? Uh, here we are on a Monday. We do this every Monday. Thank you for liking these videos and subscribe if you haven't subscribed because we are approaching 500 subscribers and uh, as promised, we will start giving away uh, a thrift store item probably once a month, first of the month, somewhere in there. Uh, and uh, it's exciting, you know, because all the great, all the great YouTubers uh, do that. They give things away. Mr. Beast, he's my probably my biggest influence as a YouTuber. Mr. Beast will just give you like a hundred thousand bucks. Hopefully, that's what this becomes, where I'm just giving away egg chairs and stuff. So let's look at uh, this haul, which I found uh, in, in between Pittsburgh and Maryland, which I, I constantly make that run. Uh, and this is a fantastic haul. I can't wait to show it to you. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I found was this guy. And we start off small here, as you know. Every Monday we start off small. Look at that. It's a brass giraffe for $1.50. American. <clears throat> which brass stuff if you see brass animals uh, uh almost uh, all the time they're they're going to be vintage cuz they just don't make this stuff anymore it's too expensive so if you see them out in the wild especially one that is this dark and that has this good of patina patina is the natural oxidization from you know handling over time or what have you uh, so this is a buck 50 this is 20 dollars easily i'll probably slap 18 on it and watch it fly that's Almost $20 profit. That's 16 bucks profit. Next thing I found, again, I found this. Uh, this was at the Salvation Army in Uniontown, PA. Look at that. It's a flamingo tray. Great color. Probably late 50s, early 60s, somewhere in there. Awesome. Original. Got to be careful because they made, you know, people are making repros of this stuff now. Similar versions. This was two bucks. Can you see that? Two bucks at the Salvation Army Uniontown. I'm gonna get eighteen for that. Uh, Sixteen maybe. So fourteen dollars profit on the uh, '60s flamingo tray. Next thing I found was this. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So amazing I can't even say the where I found this. I found this at a uh, thrift store in rural Maryland. Look at this, man. This freaking book bag, handbag. What do they call these ladies? Handbag. This is not a man's bag, I don't think. I mean, it could be. You know, who knows? Maybe you want to make a statement. Uh, this was two bucks. Two dollars. And it has this original awesome plastic handles. The hardware is all original. And the psychedelic flowers. I mean, this is as good a pattern as you could ever hope to find uh, because this is exactly what people are looking for this psychedelic really screams 1960s and the great thing about this is I saw someone holding this and looking at it and that's how I even knew it was in the store I was just walking by and I saw them so you know I don't always stop at the textiles the the fabric the purses uh, but this is a good reminder that you need to do that because this two dollar bag, I'm gonna ask forty to fifty bucks for this. It is in perfect shape. It is not a reproduction. It's old hardware, old fabric. This is incredible. So this is a fifty dollar bag for two bucks. That is a that is what I call a score where I'm from. Um, next thing I found. Um, at a place called Hidden Treasures in, I think, Washington, PA. Or there's another town down in southern uh, Pennsylvania. That, but I found these guys. <clears throat> these canisters that just are as 1980s as you can get. Three canisters, 1980s style. These were four bucks each. 25% off. So they came out to about 12 for the four, which is unreal. No chips, no cracks, perfect shape, which is how you have to buy them. Uh, and uh, I'm going to get 48 bucks for the set of four 80s.
canisters with lids. 48 bucks off of 12. Steady, slow and steady wins the race. Next thing I found was this at a, uh, I don't know what the name of this place. It's, I call it Peddler's Odor. It's one of those like uh, uh, indoor flea market type deals. This was $5, this little uh, Eskimo boy or girl. You can't really, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of coverage. So you don't know, is it a boy, is it a girl? Does it matter? I don't think so. Uh, because this is real, like, seal fur. This is real uh, leather. Like, I, I I don't know what this is made out of. I mean, because this is from the 60s. I haven't researched it yet. I mean, I, I know that similar ones go for about 50 bucks, but I don't know the name specifically of what this is called. But this is real fur, real leather, maybe even seal skin. Who knows? This is, this is not a free trade Inuit. This is uh, this is a very old uh, thing, so I I got to find out how much it's worth. I'm guessing it's worth at least forty bucks. I paid five for it, so I'm assuming it's going to be about thirty five dollars profit. But one of those things that could surprise me once I get in there and dig around. So uh, let's see, we've got two more items in this haul, and this one is already sold. Believe it or not, this is sold on eBay, and I'm going to show it to you. It is a classic 1970s Led Zeppelin Tapestry. What up? How about that? Vintage. Not a reproduction. Not something you could go into Spencer's Gifts and find. Uh, original uh maker on there which is you know this is like you would find these in head shops in the 70s you know this is like the kind of thing that for kids who don't know what a head shop is that's uh where uh people would go buy uh you know their uh smoking devices and uh and, and albums sometimes but uh i feel so stupid to say that but this is an old old one and on ebay there was not another one of these on ebay so if you have, if it's old and there's nobody else that has one, I started the bidding at 49 bucks. Uh, it went seven days, didn't sell. And the second time around, someone came in and offered me 52 for it. So 52 bucks, I paid 10 for this at a place called Junk and Stuff. And uh, so this was 10, I sold it for 52. That's, you know, 42 bucks profit off of, one item so that's that's how uh, that's how these numbers add up so we're looking at our final thing uh, from the same uh place junk sh junk shop i found this unbelievable 1960s lamp look at this no shade but as you can see this is one solid piece of wood it appears and in the middle the device that turns it on and off. It works. It was $15. I asked very politely if they would take $10, and they did. So I paid 10 bucks for this. Now, I have not... This is a brand new haul. I really honestly have not gotten into the research of what this is worth but i've seen these before in vintage stores and uh this is a super super high-end 60s lamp i mean this was probably expensive back in the day extremely high quality it wouldn't surprise me if it was danish because they made a lot of unique designs uh stylistically with lamps and so forth it's got a great look to it if i put a vintage barrel shade on the top of this I'm going to ask $150, $150 bucks for this lamp, which I paid $10 for at Junk and Stuff there in Maryland. So, wow, I mean, that's, that is a ton of profit on this haul. I spent $42.50, $42.50, I'm going to make $363 bucks, $42 to $363 on ebay and in my booth at the antique mall facebook marketplace it goes on and on and on and on and you can do it too 
Anybody could do this. Do you have Google Lens on your phone? Do you have uh, the internet? Uh, you can make money buying and selling vintage. I do it. I do this every Monday as a free service. Uh, please keep uh, telling your friends about this and let's build this. Let's get to a million subscribers, you guys, on Mid Mod Money. I've been John Evans. And remember, always round up.